and beyond a point it's only a job yeah. you know you you give everyone utmost respect because also what happens many a times when someone's uh, someone doesn't like someone they tend to disrespect them yeah. luckily with me never happened you know i've never disrespected someone but someone all the other has said some things to me but like what I mean, there's only been one person who I I felt was the worst I've had the experience. One director, he abused me on set because there was an issue because of his chief AD. Whenever I have been late on set, it's either I won't say it's not. There have been times that I've just missed the alarm altogether, a couple of times. But it's always either there's too much traffic. I didn't calculate the time, but I'm never really late. And once because there was some outfit issue, the. miscommunication between the ad team and the the director team and they didn't convey to each other because it was a white outfit with a big mark here so you cannot wear even in the close up yeah. and the moment i reach on set and i'm like i'm so sorry i like this one tell you and he just like said something in hindi and i looked at him and he's like you're late i was very calm even then because generally i'm calm i like but i wasn't late i was like i've been here before all of you i was here before the mehboob studio open i will i mean the the time for the shoot to yeah. start i said i've been here before all the other actors came i said the outfit had an issue because it just changed the outfit was a change from the something so i said so it's it's not like my fault and he abused me again uh, that's it that was enough for me the second abuse first abuse i was still okay it's a very delhi lingo also and my father's half punjabi so when i meet my dad doesn't abuse at all but when i meet his other cousins and all from punjab the way they talk it's it's pyar mein you know it's not a gali so first time i took it but the second time when he said from there in the costume i told him the same thing back what he said to me i'm like you know what you are this i like don't ever talk to me i'm like don't ever disrespect me one educated yeah, fool i literally said that i walked out straight from there i still remember it was my first car i had bought at that time that was a year i just sat went straight from the mehboob removed all the rollers everything i sat in the car in the same dress and i just went home and then the 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 ep of the film and the producers they had to call me and you know they are like we want to come meet you and apologize i like no 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 the person who said it has to apologize did did he apologize uh he did after two days and that's when i went on set otherwise i won't have great i think women should be like this actually men and women both men and women self respect both. comes way before any and uh, self respect and dignity should come way before any profession yeah. personally but not anything. ego a lot of people absolutely not you ego. know in a in a country a lot of people not in a country but in in a country of seen more because this is where you yeah. live this is your country yeah. people have a, you know they they confuse ego and self respect yeah, yeah. so i really hope that people even get to know yaar yeah, that it's it's it needs to be self respect not ki main ye hu but you know uh, also we live in a time when whenever it's a, it's a, it's almost sexist if i'm not wrong Whenever there are two heroines in a, they think झगड़ा हुआ होगा. I don't understand. They don't say the same about two men. Two and men. let me tell you that I uh, interviewed Priyanka Chopra a few years ago, and she was going to produce this film, which was about two heroes. And she said that you know, no two leading men want to share screen. Yeah, because and they have, have we've grown issues. up. Yeah, and we've grown up watching you know the Ram Lakhans yeah. and the Karan Arjuns and everything. Now nobody wants no, to do it. No, because I've heard also the stories when there are two men, they want to cut each other's role and dialogue cut. Arey, uska dialogue jada powerful hai mera ni. Honestly, on this. uh like this set and i worked before i worked yeah, yeah, with absolutely. actresses worked before so many and my today in fact today has been 9 years of raz i worked with bipasha oh my god like at that time i was so star struck i was so star struck oh my god and it's bipasha as yeah epitome of hotness and that <laughs> white dress coming out that's true and i met her of course i was little jittery and all because just my second film and second film also happened by chance because some actress walked out i was already on contract with bhats they are like this is the movie this is the story would you like to do it I heard it was a f- f- amazing film, and me and uh, Bipasha were always there in the film. I said, of course. So it happened, and you know, you are just like, oh my god, no issues. Guess what? Yeah. Her team, she was so nice, and she taught me so much how stars should be. Her team, actually, her costume and hair, because I didn't have a big costume. I'm like, I had the costume which was for everyone. Uh, I didn't have a separate costume like she did. I didn't have so. I didn't even have a boy. I didn't have anyone. I'm a, one person who was hair and makeup with his assistant. That's it. So we didn't know much because we were all new. And her team in one of the scene, like some outfit issue was happening. Like, oh my god, major outfit issue. Either we don't shoot or someone needs to stitch. Who knows? Her team immediately, like she sent her team. They came to my rescue. They did all of yeah, that. Yeah, Pasha is amazing. So you know what I mean, and you get to learn. Hmm, this is what I want to be because I want people to talk about me behind my back. This. 